Inside of Microsoft Excel, we're gonna create a spreadsheet which will deal us a hand of poker. And you can see this here in action. It's dealing us different cards every time I automatically recalculate this page. And to create this, we're gonna use the ran between function and also the X lookup function. So we've been learning about these functions in the last couple of videos. We've done a series of videos here. And if you wanna follow this whole series, we're building up our skills so that we could build a random data generator. If you wanna check that out in the description, there's a link to that entire playlist. But in this video, we're gonna see how to use ran between and X lookup in Microsoft Excel to deal us a hand of cards in the game of poker. <laughs> So here I am in Microsoft Excel, and we're gonna build this thing which will deal us a hand of five cards in poker. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna generate a random number. And we're gonna, we're gonna generate a random number between one and 12. So it'll choose a random number between one and 12. And then we'll use XLOOKUP to look up that random number from this lookup table here and return one of these values here. So that will give us our card. And then to get our suite, we'll generate a random number between one and four using ran between. And, uh, and when we get that random number, we'll then use XLOOKUP to return this little item right there. And so we'll see which suite the card is. And uh, one of the things which you're gonna learn in this video, which is totally amazing, is how to get these symbols in here. Because pretty much anywhere in Microsoft Windows, there's this, I'll just teach you this thing right off the bat. There's this, uh, this really cool technique that pretty much most people don't know about. But if you press your Windows key, it's also sometimes labeled as the start key on your keyboard. If you press your Windows key, your start key, and hold it down and then press a period, it brings up all these emojis. And you can look through here for whatever emojis you want, and you can also click this little search icon to search for whatever emoji you want. So that's how I got these emojis in here. It's just a really quick, handy way to put an emoji into anything, anywhere in Windows, <laughs> whether it's an email or a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or a document, word processing document, whatever. You just press that start Windows key and then the, hold it down and then press the period and it brings up all of these emojis that you can work with. All right, let's build this, uh, this, let's build this little spreadsheet where it deals us uh, five cards in poker. So to do this, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have an X lookup function. So start with the equal sign, type in X lookup. And, uh, and then the value I wanna look up, I'm gonna nest functions here. And so for the lookup value, I want a random number between one and 12. And so I'm gonna do a ran between, and the ran between is gonna be between one and 12. And so there's my uh, first lookup value. And then the lookup array is gonna be all of this right there. That's gonna be the, you know, the list from which it's gonna look up this value. I'm gonna press F4 to make those references absolute. You can see it put the dollar signs in front of the references there. And that way, when I move this formula down, when I copy and paste it down over these other cells, it's always going to continue to reference these items right here, because those references are held absolute. And now I'm gonna press a comma and I need my return array and this is gonna be my return array. And once again, I'm gonna press F4 to hold all those references uh, absolute. And then I'm gonna uh, put in these last options here. So if not found, I'm just not gonna return anything. So empty text, just double text quotation marks there. I want an exact match. Uh, so I'm gonna choose that one right there. And then for my last one, I wanna search first to last. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> These are like, whatever. I've tried them different ways. It doesn't seem to make a difference. First to last or last to first. I'm gonna go first to last. And I'm gonna hit my parentheses uh, on the end there. And it should give me which card I want. For the next one, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but to return the suite. So it's gonna be an X lookup. If I could spell it, there it is. <laughs> and ran between, there it is. And it's going to be a ran between one and four. And, uh, and then the, the uh, lookup area is gonna be that. And so I'm gonna do F4 to hold that constant. And then the return one is gonna be that. I wanna return the symbol. I'm gonna press F4 to hold that constant. And then uh, if it's not found, we'll do just double quotation marks. And the match mode will be exact. And, uh, and we'll go from uh, first to last again. And so there we go. And so we got a two of diamonds. And as I press F9, so here, over here on the data ribbon, no, on the formulas ribbon, uh, you have calculate, calculate now. So F9 will calculate now on the formulas ribbon, or you could just press the shortcut key F9 and it'll calculate now. So every time I calculate, it gives me a different card and a different suite. I just need to copy this down now and I will be able to get my five cards for poker. 
And you can see how this is gonna <laughs> revolutionize home poker night. <laughs> and so I'm gonna highlight that and then come over to my come over here to this little corner which has a little different notation on it. And when I get that black plus sign, I could double click and it'll do autofill uh, if it was working, but I'm just gonna drag it down instead. So if it doesn't automatically fill, you can just drag it down. Now when I press F9, it's going to uh, deal me a hand of poker. And so there's my hand of poker, or my mini hands of poker. It's kind of cool. All right, that's using XLOOKUP and RAN BETWEEN to generate a five card draw in poker. In the next video that I create for this YouTube channel, I'm gonna show you how to create a random data generator so it'll generate random data. And through building this random data generator, you're gonna see how we use nested functions, the if function, the and function, the xlookup function, and the ran between function. So it's really a great example of bringing together a lot of the different functions that we've been learning about in the last couple of videos. So we're gonna see that in the next video. If you're enjoying these videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you uh, want to learn something about Microsoft Excel or all of technology, computers, anything, whatever it might be related to technology, just leave a comment down below in the comments and I look through those and then make videos to help everybody learn about technology. I've been doing this at the college and university level for over 20 years. I was tenured faculty in California. So go ahead and leave a comment down below if you wanna learn something. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time.